Welcome back to my VA channel and this is the continuation for the latest freelancing platforms. Please have your pen and paper ready so you can write them down. Onlinejobs.ph Onlinejobs.ph is a USA platform but built exclusively for the Filipinos. Yes, you heard it right. It is made for Filipino freelancers. So why does an American company build a freelancing website for us Filipinos? The answer is foreign clients like how Filipinos work. According to them, they like our working etiquette aside from being polite and hardworking. Another reason why foreign clients prefer Filipinos is because of our English-speaking capabilities. It's a huge advantage that English is the second language in the Philippines, and it is not that hard for us to communicate using the universal language. Fiverr. Fiverr is where you sign up if you want to offer your service, and the client will pay you after you have submitted your work. Fiverr means $5, which is the minimum rate for a service provided. It's up to you if you want to charge higher, but you have to remember to compare your rate with other freelancers before you set your maximum rate. People per hour. True Lancer. Free up. Freelancer. Go Lance. My Out Desk. Rev. Top towel, Go Transcript, 199 Jobs, 99 Designs, Outsourcely, Hub Staff. How to sign up to these platforms? Different freelancing platforms have different sign up procedures. Some require IDs while some don't. But one thing is for sure. These platforms will ask for your email address as part of the sign-up process. Take note. While submitting your ID, especially government identification cards with your birthday and complete name on it, don't forget to blur these sections as part of your personal security. Always put in mind that the internet is a virtual public place and you need to do things with caution. You may use your laptop's image editor in blurring these sections. What's next after I sign up? After signing up on your chosen freelancing platform, you may need to verify your email address by going to your email inbox. Once verified, you may need to wait for approval from the freelancing platform management. Once you get approved, you may now start applying to jobs. These jobs are often called projects. Projects can be short-term or long-term. What's the difference between short-term and long-term projects? Short-term projects are tasks that can be accomplished in a short period of time. Short-term projects can either be done in a week month, or even two months. Once these short-term projects are done, you may need to apply for another job being posted on your news feeds. Long-term projects are tasks that are being done in a longer period of time, like for a year or even longer. Some freelancers last for up to 10 years with their clients. Is working with a client for 10 years even possible? The answer is a big yes. When you have shown your worth, and if you work with value to your client, they will continue to hire you. They will see you as an irreplaceable VA for their business. Love your work, and your work will love you too. How do I apply for projects? Projects are posted by clients and will be visible on your news feeds. You just need to click on that particular project and write a killer cover letter. Remember, 
only apply to projects that you can do and accomplish. Clients will be expecting much from you, so never let them down. A killer cover letter serves as your first communication with your prospect client. This is where the client would base his judgment whether he will hire you or not. We will discuss how to write a killer cover letter on my next presentation. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, better click the subscribe button now so you will never miss all the informations. How would I know if I was chosen for the job? Once the job is being awarded to you, you will receive a notification on your dashboard and will receive an email as well. Some freelancing platforms have contracts as a proof that the work is being offered to you and being accepted by you. Some platforms don't have this feature. Your client may set an interview with you and discuss the work and how it needs to be done. You should pay 100% attention to every instructions from your client. Failing to do so may put your work at risk. Never hesitate to ask questions in case some things are not clear with you. That would be all for now. You can start signing up to these platforms as some approvals may take time. Remember to blur important sections before submitting your ID. If you feel you are now confident in applying to jobs, please do so. But if you think you still need advice to save you from rejections and declines from clients, then my next presentation is for you. Stay tuned. I am in the process of creating an impressive profile and a killer cover letter that makes you win the job 99% of the time. I will show you my very own profile so you will have an idea. Bye for now!